Jackson, congratulations. Describe Thank the feeling you. when you got the call from your hometown team. Man, as soon as I saw the 513 pop up on my phone, like I, it instantly just like, just everything hit me at once. And it was an amazing feeling. And just like knowing I was going to be able to be home is just indescribable. Were you a Bengals fan growing up? Man, I've been born in Cincinnati, and I never had a favorite NFL team growing up. I always had favorite players, and I'm going like, to be honest about that. But my favorite football player of all time has always been Anthony Munoz. And just being able to watch just, like, his greatness and just, like, just everything that he's been able to do and just, like, knowing that I'm being able to be a part of an organization that's, you know what I'm saying, breeding a pedigree like that as an offensive lineman. And also being close to guys like Willie Anderson and Andrew Whitworth and just, like, knowing just everything, the history that the Bengals like, has to offer and just, like, it's just amazing. And I've always rooted for the Bengals whenever they were playing, just like because they were my hometown team and stuff like that. And so for me to be able to be in this like just position to be able to like just like stay home and like be with my family and like just pour back into the community is just awesome. So I'm super excited. Jackson, when you think about uh, this draft process, did you think there was a chance the Bengals would draft you or did you have an inclination maybe somebody else had their eye on you? Definitely, I, I knew there was a high possibility for the Bengals to be able to draft me and others as well. And I'm super excited it worked out the way it did. Thank you. With your position versatility, any problems with playing the guard position instead of tackle initially? No, prob no problems at all. I'm uh, I'm definitely the type of guy that's a team player and whatever the team needs me to do for the team to win, I'm going to do it. And, you know what I'm saying, that means for me to be able to play guard is something I'll do at the highest level. And I'm excited just for my opportunity wherever it's going to be. How much Jackson, guard have you what played? How, what how, how many snaps of guard have you taken? I'm sorry, I can't hear anyone talking at, at the same time. So how many how many snaps of guard have you taken? In a game, never, but like in practice and stuff like that, especially my freshman year, I'd take uh like I would run in when guys went down, different things like that. <clears throat> Jackson, what does it say about you as a player that Zach Taylor and Frank Pollock right out of the gates are saying that you're gonna come in and, and compete for a starting spot right away? What does that say about you as a player? I mean, that's just always been my mentality for the, from the get-go. And, you know what I'm saying, the next level is just going to be that, that much higher level of competition. So I'm excited for the opportunity to be able to come in. And I'm just honestly just grateful and honored that they even think of me in that light. And I'm, I'm just excited and ready, ready to get, get to work. What do you think you have to improve on, Jackson? I think just like every single part of my game, I'm definitely just like young guy with a lot of room to improve. But specifically just like just overall my consistency and my technique, and just continue to improve my body and my just my football IQ and stuff like that, and just get ready for the next level. T. Higgins tweeted uh, some excitement. He tweeted at you after you got picked. Have you uh, have you thought about the idea of reuniting with T? Man, that was one of the first things I thought about, and just like just knowing that like T's like probably one of my favorite college receivers of all time. Just like you know, watching him do what he does, and just like his uh, his strength at the at the top of the, at the at the point of attack on the ball is just remarkable. And so just like knowing I'm be able to play one of my favorite players of all time was also one of my good friends is awesome. Heading into the draft, were you, I guess, physically preparing to play tackle or guard or, or now do you make some adjustment now that you might be playing some more guard in Cincinnati? Yeah, I'm definitely physically prepared to play any position. Uh, I was physically uh, training for tackle, also took a uh, uh, three point uh, guard reps as well. And I've been just trying to be well rounded. Jackson, when, you, when you're playing at Fairfield four years ago, could you even picture or dream this any better of a scenario? I could not picture a better scenario. Just like, just, just, just is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Just like thinking about just where like the journey and the game of football is taking me in life and for it to bring me back to my family and my home. Something I'm very like just proud, proud of and excited for. Hey, Jackson, I got two questions. I, Go ahead, Butch. Two for you. Yeah, I'm sorry. I have two for you. The first one is, have you ever been to a game here? At Paul Brown? I've never been to an actual uh, football game at Paul Brown. I think I went to a preseason game where you guys played the Giants, but I've never been to an actual – I've actually never been to an NFL football game for, from any team. And uh, the other one there, I was wondering, what did Willie Anderson – you know, what did you learn from Willie Anderson? How has he helped? Man, you? Willie Anderson is literally the definition of the GOAT, and I definitely think he should be – he should have a gold jacket around him sometime soon. But just being able to learn just technique and – philosophy and mindset from him and also just being able to watch someone who's been there and done it at the highest level is really special and for him to be just a part of my journey is I, I couldn't have been blessed more and we're working on that gold jacket thing thank you definitely are you Which, with coach Krause right now and who else is with you tonight 
my high school coaches, my family, some of my old teammates. Um, it's pretty, we got a pretty good crew here. You were asked what you need to work on. What's the strength of your game? When you when you look at yourself as a football player, what do you think you do best? I definitely think I'm a very smart, intelligent, instinctive football player, has a good mind for the game. I think I'm a great athlete, have great natural balance and just athleticism. And I think that I play with great effort and intensity and like really try to finish people. And I'm always uh, learning and looking for ways to get better. Jackson, obviously there's a lot of chatter around Cincy about uh, being able to protect Joe Burrow and keep him upright. What's that like for you to come in and kind of, I mean, do you, is that a challenge you embrace of, of making sure that nine's jersey stays clean? Uh, I mean, that's just, that's just been, that's just been what I do. You know what I mean? Like I've blocked for the number one pick this year. And so blocking for another number one pick, it's just the same thing, just going in and doing my job at the highest level. And it's a blessing to be able to uh, protect Joe Burrow. You know what I mean? And it's a, even crazier just knowing that I was just playing against him two years ago. And so this is really an amazing full circle experience. You know, you're from a football area, Cincinnati, greater Cincinnati is known for its football Talk about how that benefited you going into college and really getting you ready to go into the pro. Southwest Ohio football is tough and it's definitely extremely physical. And for me going into college, I knew just how to just just play hard, how to just like put my head down and go to work. And Southwest Ohio football, you know what I'm saying? We got cold weather, we got intense games, student sections, and I'm really grateful to be able to play at Fairfield and go against the competition I went against. And, even, like, guys on my team, like Malik Van, you know what I'm saying, help prepare me for the next level. So I'm really blessed to be able to play from here. Thank you. Does one high school game stand out? Man, I had – I couldn't pick you one high school game. There's a whole bunch of crazy games. Probably, probably one of the most energetic games I've ever been a part of was my sophomore year. We played Elder in the pit in the first round of the playoffs, and it was incredible. Why Clemson coming out of high school? I can't hear you well, sir. Why Clemson coming out of high school? Man, I just thought that Clemson just was uh, a great program. I really made good friends with um, the different recruits in my class, like Trevor and um, Xavier Thomas and KJ, and just tons of different guys I felt like were really good people. And also I knew that I was going to be having great competition, you know what I'm saying, coming in as a freshman, going against guys like Cleveland Farrell and Christian Wilkins and Dexter Lawrence. And I knew I was going to be playing at the highest level every day. So I just thought it was a great fit for me. Jackson. Jackson. What was tonight like for you not knowing when you'd be picked, uh, second, third round? How was it before leading up to the great moment and when you got the phone call? Man, it was, it was, it was magical. Just like well, no matter where I got picked or when I got picked, just for me to have all the people that I love around me, like it was just really special. And so for me to be able to just like be with my family and especially as I've been like all over the country where there's training in Dallas or – going to school in Clemson has been uh, difficult for me to be able to see them, but ha have everybody in one place. It was no matter what happened, I was going to be happy just having my people around me. You mentioned that game against Elder. What was it that made that game stick out to you? And what do you remember about that game? I don't know if you've ever been to the pit, but it's literally the definition of the name. It's literally just a pit in the ground and all the sound comes right onto the field. And so their student section all had their shirts off. It's all boys, you know what I'm saying? In the student section and they're screaming. You can't hear anything like, it's definitely one of the most intense playoff environments for a high school anywhere in the country, I feel. How much do you know about the uh, the AFC North? A lot of good defensive uh, defensive lines, defensive uh, coordinators that are pretty sophisticated with their schemes. Are you excited about competing in the AFC North? Yeah, I'm super excited. You know what I'm saying? Just the, the level of talent and just guys that are, you know what I'm saying, professionals and just being able to prove myself and to be able to, challenge myself and go against, you know what I'm saying, some really great players. I'm super excited for it. How many people do you have over the house, uh, Jackson? I couldn't tell you the number, but we got a pretty good crew. So uh, You mentioned your uh, respect and reverence for Anthony Munoz. Have you spent time with Anthony? I have not spent personal, like, one-on-one -on -one time with Anthony yet, but um, my – in high school, I was nominated for the Anthony Munoz Award uh, for high school and was able to meet him there and different things like that. And it was a really good experience. Did Willie give you any specific advice about the draft, Jackson? <laughs> Man, just to, just to keep my head down, be patient, and just like to be just like grateful for whatever happens. And that's been my, been my mindset the whole time. And honestly, like, couldn't imagine it working out better. How Did different were the techniques when you were working with Willie Anderson and then you worked a little bit with Paul Alexander? How different were the techniques that you were taught? Between the two of them? 
Yeah. Well, they're they're you know what I'm saying hand in hand. So both uh, both of their techniques bounce and work off of each other, and a lot of the same things because they work together, did great things during their time together, and so really both of their uh, coaching styles complement each other. Let's see, what's going to be the toughest challenge at GAD? Can you repeat the question? What's going to be the toughest challenge at GAD? I can't. I can't hear you. What's going to be the biggest challenge for your position switch? Playing. In, what's the biggest challenge inside? Um, I don't think there is a singular biggest challenge. I think just you know what I'm saying, just getting used to it, just getting reps. Like it's going to be. I think it's going to be fine. I think it's going to be great. Two more minutes. Jackson, did you ever own a Bengals jersey or shirt or hat or anything growing up? I got some Bengals t-shirts. Most definitely. Jackson, if there's a, one thing that, that Willie taught you among many things, what was the one thing that you really took away from it? Like, man, I just never really knew that about this position in the NFL. Just, um, I think I love Willie's just like the way he like cues himself up, you know what I'm saying? And meaning by that, like the different like mental things you think about to help prepare your body for the rep or the play or whatever going against whether it's like like your mind or engaging your core, just like activate different like muscles and just like points. Just, like he's very uh, in tune with his body and his mind when he's playing. And I, I think that's definitely great things to be able to learn. Thank you. Actually, did you have a, a, a back thing you were dealing with and were you concerned about how teams might view that coming into the draft? It was a little bit of concern. And I had a, I had a, um, I played the last five games of the season with a herniated disc and I had surgery on the 19th of January and just, was really able to have a great recovery. And I'm glad I got it taken care of early and everything like I'm saying healed well and recovered well. And it's uh, really blessed we got identified. So I wasn't really, obviously I knew it could be, it could have been a potential um, whatever with the draft, but I think that everyone, uh, all the NFL teams knew about it. And it was uh, very obvious that my health was progressing well. One more question. Jack, how does this compare to winning a national championship? Man, it's right up there. Just like just one of the best moments of my life, and just surreal and just amazing. You know, what I mean, I, it's really real, some those moments are really just like indescribable, and it's just it's just great to be able to just be in the moment and experience it.